Hi there Aquarius, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I'm also offering personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. This is a general love reading for Aquarius, a you versus them love reading. If the reading doesn't resonate, please do not try to make it fit your story. Aquarius. 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 Can I get a card for Aquarius's person, please? Two cards, okay. The Nine of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Swords. Okay. Can I get a card for you, the Chariot? Can I get a card for your person? Two of Swords in reverse. Can I get a card for you, the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Can I get a card for your person? The Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? Can I get a card for you, the Moon? in reverse, shared mutual feelings, the sun in reverse, Gemini had the same card, the sun in reverse for the shared mutual, you could be dealing with a Gemini, because I see air energy and the world, and they also got the world as well, so it may not, may or may not be a Gemini, but I'm just saying that they got both cards, the sun in reverse and the world, which is interesting, and I see air energy here, um, so the nine of wands in reverse and the two of swords in reverse, I feel like your person is taking their guard down here. Um, they want to possibly open up communication. However, they also got the eight of swords here. So I really feel like they're stuck in their head about things. Um, they could feel like their hands are tied. Or they're ha having trouble foreseeing the future here with the Eight of Swords. So they could really be thinking about that. They could be up in their head about things. But they want to take their guard down. They want to um, possibly open up communication. They could have been defensive. Not, and now I see the Two of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse. So they're not they're not like that anymore. They've taken their guard down. But with the Queen of Cups in reverse, um, there could be some uh, confusion about whether you're still open to work things out with the Queen of Cups in reverse. You, however, got the Chariot here. So this is talking about you making a fast decision towards something, okay? You could be throwing yourself into work with the Eight of Pentacles, really focused here. Um, so you could be taking action towards possibly work with the Eight of Pentacles. And with the moon in reverse here, I really feel like there is um, some level of clarity here. There's some sort of awareness here with the moon in reverse. But when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's actually going on here. But with the shared mutual feelings, it's the sun in reverse. So this is talking about an, an, an ending with the world card, uh, an ending of there being some sort of darkness uh, or an ending to unhappiness here with the sun in reverse and the world i have to read it as one message here so like an ending things could be looking up here but let's clarify an ending to negativity an end to darkness because i see the moon in reverse right as well but let's clarify the Nine of Wands in reverse with the Eight of Swords. For your person's energy. Okay. So let's clarify the Nine of Wands in reverse. There we go. Page of Cups. 
So this person doesn't does want to offer you their cup here, okay? With the page of cups, possibly an apology. They're very stuck on that, okay? Really thinking about it, hoping you'll hoping you'll be open with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Wanting to take their guard down. Possibly open up communication. They're very stuck on this idea of offering you an apology with a page of cups. But it's like there is an uncertainty whether of them being able to, you know, foresee the future here. Let's clarify the chariot card for your energy. There you go. The queen of cups here. So you have to make a choice, okay? I really feel like you are open to love here uh, with the queen of cups. But it's like you have to make a choice on that. So in the meantime, you could be throwing yourself into work. Let's clarify the two of swords in reverse. Five of swords. So you could be dealing with another um, air sign. The two of swords in reverse. So it's like, I feel like they're letting go of conflict here with the five of swords. So there could have been conflict, okay? Some sort of defensiveness where barriers were built. Sort of a win at all cost mentality, but then I see the nine of wands in reverse and the two of swords in reverse. Um, you know, having your guard up, being somewhat defensive, building up walls, barriers. I really feel like that's not what they're That's not what they want, okay, with the Five of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. So usually when I look at Three of Cups here, so it's like there is an element of, I think, um, you're wanting victory, okay? So regardless if you want a reconciliation with this person, you could be open to love here. Uh, I feel like you want victory nonetheless, okay? It's like you're making a fast decision towards something, possibly throwing yourself into work, um, while still remaining open here with the Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups here. So I, I see the Eight of Swords. So this is all happening in the, in the head space, okay? Uh, so your person could have been very much, you know, caught up in their thoughts here. And that could have been the reason what caused this conflict, okay? With the Five of Swords. And then when I'm looking at the Two of Swords, it's like they're, you know, they're wanting to take their guard down, be less in their head about things. They could have built up barriers, right? Let's clarify the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there we go, the Ace of Wands. So they want this passionate new beginning here. Um, just kind of concerned about whether you're still open here. But you got the Queen of Cups, so there's a possibility that you are open here. That, you know, you could be throwing yourself into work, but hoping for things to work out somehow. Let's clarify the Moon in reverse. Here you go, the World in reverse. So... For you, um, I don't believe this connection is quite over, okay? Because I see the Queen of Cups in reverse, or the Queen of Cups, the Three of Cups, and now the World in reverse. Um, you want a sense of openness here with the Moon in reverse, so nothing hidden. So I saw this as an entire message with the Sun in reverse and the world an ending to any sort of negative negativity, any sort of darkness that could have, you know, surrounded this connection. An end to unhappiness here. Let's clarify the sun in reverse. Page of swords in reverse, yeah. I really feel like this is an end to some sort of defensiveness, or there could have been some defensiveness here. The world and the world, and there we go, the seven of pentacles, or eight of pentacles.
I really feel like you're throwing yourself into work here. Um, hoping, you know, for an end to whatever darkness, had, you know, was shed onto this connection. Any negativity. Interesting. Let's clarify further. It's like you're buying time here with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? But throwing yourself into work. Um, really fo diverting your focus. While at the same time remaining open. So let's clarify the Page of Cups with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands in reverse for your person's energy. Okay. So let's clarify the Page of Cups. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it seems like the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Cups in reverse. I really feel like this disconnect really made your person unhappy, okay, with the Nine of Cups in reverse. I feel like they realized that by them having their guard up or being defensive, it didn't serve them with the Nine of Cups in reverse, okay? And that could have been the, uh, due to whatever was going on in their headspace. So now I feel like they want to offer you an apology, possibly, or offer you their cup here. Okay, let's clarify the Chariot with the Queen of Cups. Eight of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Even though you want things to move quickly, they may not be moving as quickly as you would like. And then I got the Lover's card here. So I really, <laughs> there's Gemini. So I, like I said, you could be dealing with a Gemini or another, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but it's like the lovers here. Like you're open to love. You believe that this was a, this is a very special connection. Um, you may want things to move quickly, but they're not moving as quickly as you would want with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Um, let's clarify the Two of Swords in reverse with the Five of Swords. The Star in reverse. So it's like your person. So that I feel like the both of they're feeling some sort of some way. So they're feeling like they're not balanced with you not being in their life. So there could have been, you could have brought some sort of balance towards, to this per, I don't know, to this connection, sorry. Um, with the star in reverse, I feel like the both of you are not together and there's a disconnect here. So there could have been a lot of conflict, sort of a win at all costs kind of mentality here. And I feel like your person's letting go of that. So you could have brought balance to your person, okay? Um, Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. There you go, the Ten of Cups in reverse. So I really feel like this is talking about a disconnect. So I see the Nine of Cups in reverse and now the Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, so this could have been a marriage, doesn't necessarily have to be, but it, you know, it was a very special connection. I feel like you're throwing yourself into work to distract yourself from it. Um, hoping that there will be a reconciliation somehow, but yet still, you know, um, possibly buying time. There could be an element of you buying time or just killing time, but doing something productive, okay? So it's not like you're wasting time. So let's clarify the Queen of Cups in reverse with the Ace of Wands. Let's do that again. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. The Empress in reverse. Okay, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it just seems like there is a disconnect could have brought in some sort of insecurities here with the Empress in reverse. But it's like they want to offer you their cup, possibly an apology. They want this passionate new beginning, but they're still unsure about whether you're open, okay? But you may have brought in some sort of balance to this connection with the star card, okay? Uh, now, if they were defensive, they're they're letting go of that or they don't, they want to, you know, so if they built up walls, they want to take them down, okay? Interesting. Let's clarify the moon in reverse or the world in reverse. Look at that, the six of cups in reverse. So you, you could have had a pass with this person, right? But clearly it seems like there's a disconnect. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign. 
Pisces, Cancer. Um, I really feel like you're still you're you believe that this connection is not over, okay? Or there there you you know it hasn't run its course here with the World card in Earth. So I really feel like you're buying time, possibly throwing yourself into something productive, you know, your work. Let's clarify the Page of Swords in reverse. Queen of Wands here. Yeah, so I really feel like, you know, you have a lot of love and passion towards this person. I really feel like, the, you know, um, yeah, because I see the Queen of Cups here and the Queen of Wands, but I really feel like you're standing in your power here, okay? So you're not, I really feel like you're not letting this connection bring you down kind of thing. Like even though you're buying time and expecting something from this person, you're still putting your energy towards productivity here. Interesting <laughs> message, but that's a good energy to be in, right? Not to let it, death in reverse. Like I said, it's like you're not, there's an end to negativity or any kind of darkness that may have been shed over this connection. Um... But like with death in reverse, so you could have been dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but it's like it's not over. Um, there's It hasn't run its course. There's some things that the both of you have to work on, okay? So that's my reading for you, Aquarius. I hope you got better insight into the situation that you have with your person. And I'll see you next time. Take care now.